Welcome aboard, it's Captain G to Global War 1939's Dark Winter. This is Italy 9. We're gonna jump right into it, should be a quick turn. We only have one round of combat, one attack to roll. Hopefully it'll go more than one round. So 25 IPP, we're building an airborne for four. We're building, this is a self-propelled artillery. Uh, that's four and it attacks and defends with two dice at two and one regular infantry at three so that's 11 and we're buying two transports for seven each that's 14 that's 25 remainder none all right now let's take a look at what's going on in the world we have one attack and one attack only the italian eighth army can do little to stop the collapse of the eastern front but they can also not make it back to Rome this turn. So they have been ordered to do a proactive attack. The best defense sometimes is a good offense. So moving into Yugoslavia, so the British thought they were heading back home, they suddenly pivoted and it plunged themselves down into Greece to attack that Italian, or that uh, force forming in what is naturally and, and should now and forevermore be Italian territory. So the Italian 8th Army, to remind you, is two light tanks, which in the Italian vernacular is just tanks, three mechs and three artillery. Defending um, with British officers and Turkish conscripts, uh, there's one, whoop, Sorry about that. One South African and five new formed British colonial brigades, units. So that's a total of six infantry, three medium tanks, one Churchill tank that defends and an eight. Down in here in this RAF mess, one heavy bomber, two medium bombers, five tactical bombers, and a lone RAF fighter, uh, not a Spitfire just a regular fighter, okay? And uh, an AA gun. There's an AA gun on the task force marker there as well, but I'm not sending in any air. So let's start rolling dice in our Afghan battle arena. So I have the two light tanks, the three mechanized infantry supported by three artillery. Hoping for lots of Lots of hits. We place the dice into the randomizer and release. All right, so there's a four, 12 is a miss. And for the threes, there's a one. <laughs> All right, this may not be a spoiling attack. This attack may already be spoiled. So two hits. So I will place a two, um, I'll place a two on the British expeditionary force to know that they have two casualties they owe us. All right, so the three bombers, heavy and medium, defend at two. The five tactical bombers defend at five. We mentioned already the Churchill at eight. We have three medium tanks at six. We have the six infantry, South African, Turkish, and English. And we have one RAF fighter, which for service pride, different shade of green dice, but still a six. And again, up at the top of the screen, a quick reference is the dice chart. And fortunately there are no sevens to roll on either side. So let's see how this goes. So we drop these guys into the randomizer. Oh, oh, we just wiped out a Russian Air Force. Sorry, right, we'll, we'll pick that up after. Uh, the twos, I see four, six, eight. So no hits there. The eight is a hit, so that's success. The fours, two, two, seven, nope, nine, nope, 12, no. So three hits there. Already they're doing far better than the Italians. Let me put these guys in the box. Let's take a look at the fives. One, four, six, nine, eleven. Nope. So those go away. 
And the six is for the medium tanks. Oh, very impressive. Three for three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there are only eight um, units for the Italians. So just for service pride, let's see how the RAF did. Five, so 10 hits, but uh, joke's on you. Hilltop, I only have eight units. So ha ha, that wipes out the Italians. All right, so sadly our spoiling attack did not spoil much. Um, I'll just take a South African and a chip just to make it clean. So there's still four infantry left. We did not penetrate far enough to hit steel, but it was a long shot. And one Il Duce thought was worth the risk since that task force was not going to make it home in time anyway. All right, so let's come over here. Non-combat. Let me double check. I think I wrote down none. I wrote down none. None. Um, so I'll take this off, remove it from play, and I'll take this off because that was never going to happen. All right, so... Let's now place units. So let's bring up the, we have one infantry. Pivot slightly. I'm gonna place him in Gibraltar at the um, medium or whatever the military, the military base there. I have the self-propelled artillery is going into La Roma. I have the airborne going into La Roma. And I have two transports that are going to hide amongst the Vichy fleet. If the Allies want to attack them, they have to destroy that Vichy fleet to get to us. All right. Uh, collecting income. Italy walks into this turn with 22 IPP. As I'm tracking, we lost Marseille. Um... Is that right? 22? I want to say it's less than that. I have 22. We lost Marseille, but we also lost three in Russia. So I'm going to say 19. I think I forgot the, the Marseille movement. So 19 minus the three should leave me 16. 10, 15, 16. Yeah, that sounds right. I'll audit it off camera because as always the Italians for some reason are problematic. So I believe Italy has 16 cash on hand at the end of the turn. Next up is Germany.